Good morning, Amanda here. Um, my name is Amanda Morosky. Uh, you may know me as Keto Ginger. I have an Instagram where I chronicle my keto journey. Um, today is a very special day for me. It is my one year anniversary of starting the keto diet. I have lost 112 pounds and I've never felt better in all of my life. To say that it has changed things for me is such an understatement. I never realized how crappy I felt until I started to feel good. Um, I don't even know where to begin here. Uh, I guess my first video is going to be a very easy about me sort of video. Um, I've never done this before. I've made cameos on Lauren's YouTube channel and I have done some work in the past that has had me in front of the camera, but being this candid and this transparent with a bunch of strangers is brand new for me. Um, so thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. The handful of you that are motivated by my success. I want to let you know I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I am not a medical professional in any way, shape, or form. I'm just a mom, a wife, a friend, and I want to share my struggles and successes with you. If it helps you stick to keto throughout the day to know that there are a bunch of people just like you that are trying to do the same thing, that's what community is all about. My plan for this channel is to do a lot of keto cooking. Uh, the way that I cook keto is I call it lovingly fat kid keto. The reason that I call it that is because my entire life I was addicted to food. I would use food as feeling. I would use it to celebrate. I would use it to grieve. I would use it to basically go hand in hand with any emotion that I was experiencing. I feel like we as people have a tendency to eat our feelings. <laughs> Took a while to get to that uh, to eat our feelings so basically anytime something bad would happen to me anytime something sad would happen to me if I was angry if I was celebratory I would immediately turn to food as the answer and that's just the way that I was raised it's the way that I grew up it is um, something that I've had to fight and struggle with my whole life so I want to help you be accountable to those feelings do, 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 and kind of give you a place do, 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 do. to sound off about that. You know, if you've had a bad day, and if you are not feeling well and you're looking for those comfort foods and those things that really make you feel full, both mentally and physically, that's what my channel will help you with. Um, I absolutely love to cook. Cooking is my favorite thing that I do. And it's always kind of a personal challenge that if I am craving something to find a way to make it keto. My recipes are not super difficult. I have two young sons. Levi is two and a half. Lincoln is three and a half. They are both on the autism spectrum. And what that means is that just like all moms of toddlers, I am very, very busy. I have an amazing husband that works full time and we basically try to cook at home every single night. Um, I know how daunting it can be to start a new way of eating. And I know that it can seem really overwhelming when you start to research keto. My most important thing that I can tell you is that sometimes research is the enemy. Uh, being in a ketogenic state is a very simple concept. We basically deplete our bodies of our glucose storage and force our bodies to run on ketones, um, aka fat. So we're getting our body to run on fat instead of on glucose and that is as simple as it gets. Over time, you will see me shout out some of what I consider to be my keto heroes. 
they are the people that I watch, that I learn from, that I feel like present the information in a very easy to understand scientific way. I love science. I love science. I love to read. I love to learn. And I really think it's important for people to do their research on the ketogenic diet. Don't just dive in and start eating eggs for three weeks. You'll lose weight, but you won't be happy. So, I want to know, what do you guys want to see on this channel? Do you want to see my kids? Um, do you want to see cooking instruction? Do you want to see me eat? <laughs> I want to see me eat. I hope that's on there. Um, this is an experiment. Like I said, this is my one year keto anniversary. So I am filming this video and starting this channel because I promised my dear friend Lauren Brazy that I would. It's going to help me be accountable as I enter the next phase of keto for myself, which is a maintenance mode. I'm very happy with the weight that I am at. No illusions here, guys. This is the second time in my life that I have lost a substantial amount of weight. So what that means is that I feel great in clothing, but I definitely still have things that I have to cope with and learn to cope with. So on these videos, you'll sometimes see that I have makeup on and sometimes I'm going to look like a hobbit. I'm okay with that. I need you to be okay with that too. Um, it also means that I'm not going to hide things about my body or about myself, okay? So, yes, I have lost a substantial amount of weight. However, there are still things, okay? Bingo wings flapping. My stomach definitely has some skin issues. I don't want you to look at my journey and look at my before and afters and think, oh my gosh, that's impossible. Because it isn't. Um, learning how to cope with the things that are new challenges for my body is going to be why I need you to be here and be my friend. We're going to do this together. You can do it. Anybody can. Um, <laughs> say hi, Levi. Levi and Blaze with the cameo. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Okay, so just a little disclaimer. I am by no means a technology whiz. So please be patient with me while I kind of go through the learning curve of YouTube. Uh, editing and uh, thumbnails and all of those things that go along with it. Funny enough, I am a photographer. That's what I do for a living. So I am very, very comfortable with cameras. Um, but editing is still new for me when it comes to video. I basically feel like I'm just going to learn as I go. So my first few videos are going to be rough and choppy and they're going to be real life and they're not going to be edited top notch. I'm basically just going to start putting information out there and hopefully I learn as I go. Uh, please leave me some comments on what you want to see on my YouTube channel just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek. Lauren and I are planning to do some collaboration videos. We're going to do some recipe challenges. We are going to basically make it so that you feel like you are in our kitchen or living room with us, just being our friend and learning about keto together. I'm very proud of myself and I feel like having the opportunity to help even one person on their keto journey is my calling. I want to help you. Please let me know if you have any questions and any feedback because I welcome that as well. I hope everyone has a magical day and I hope that all of you are living your best life. Even if it's not your best day, it can still be your best life. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And all of you that cheered me on to start a YouTube channel, thank you. Uh, I never could have imagined that I would have so many people that wanted to learn from me and kind of take a peek into my weird little life. Have a great day, everyone.